Hey, welcome everybody. So, as you see in the front of you, this is Cinema 4D. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, if you've seen in some of my videos, I actually got a different layout than the normal startup layout for Cinema 4D. And um, some of you guys actually asked for my layout, so. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna teach you a little something on how to change your layout, your icons, and your color for your layouts, and like all the other stuff you need to know, and also some little extras. Um, so, first of all, we're gonna go to our normal layout for Cinema 3D. So, this is the normal layout, and um, this is what you get if you just downloaded Cinema 4D and yeah, you want to go more in depth and you just don't want to look in each one of those to actually find your thing you want to have. You can just create a little shortcut or like an icon so you can click on that. If you um, just need it, you click on there and you don't have to go in all those things to just look what you want to have. So yeah, first of all. We're gonna go to Windows, Customizations, Customization Comments. If you click on here, it will open a little window. So this is what you need. So in here, there are all the um, like icons you can get. So you can create shortcuts for each one of these. Like if you see in here in the bottom, you can create a shortcut for. Yeah, wait. I will just like. Customize comment. So if I want to add a shortcut, this already got a shortcut, but customize menus, it doesn't have a shortcut. So if you want to create a shortcut for customized menus, you just kind of shortcuts to them. You just type on your keyboard whatever you want, and it's yeah, this, this is what you do. You just type in here and it will make shortcuts for you. So if I made a shortcut like, let's just do, no, let's just, TG, okay, <laughs> okay, my shortcut is TG for this one, so you just edit, and yeah, so, now TG, if I click on TG now, so, I think TG is in the, um, wait, no, no, it's because those are like two, mm, let's go back to customize, customize menu, so, mm, let's do shift and then, <laughs> shift, Ooh, shift and P, I think this is one that isn't used. So shift P and you just click on ads and remove this one like because it isn't a legit um, shortcut because yeah you just sh shift P okay this is one that isn't used so we have this now so and we, we click shift P and it opens that again and that's not what we oh no <laughs> Wait a moment. <laughs> the first shortcut was good. That was the window it opens. Customize menus. <laughs> Stupid shift. So, um, yeah. Actually, I did it with offset because now you know how to delete a shortcut. <laughs> of course, I'm so smart. Um, so, yeah, this was just a little thing for the shortcuts, but you can also just create your own icon. You just type your icon here. We're gonna use custom comments. Just drag it to whatever you want and you have it there. So if I click on here, it opens the custom comments menu. So mm, this is just like in the center of cinema for the kind of but we want to create like more other ways because now you can just choose 
from those palettes. So you just create a new palette, okay? If you click on new palettes and you have this kind of thing in here and you can just drag it everywhere you want. So if you drag it over your layout, you will see a white area on your, um, yeah, your layout. And that's ex that actually means you can release it and it will go to that position where you just created your palettes. And um, yeah, just for same thing, gonna also create a new palette in here. So then I kind of don't like the position of this actually the customized comments and I click edit palettes and you will kind of see like the blue areas in here. It's just with edit palettes, you can remove your icons and like move them. So this like you can delete this, the, the space between the icons or I can just remove it. So yeah, that's actually what you want to do if you want to customize your layout. So I have the customized comment, but I kind of want it to the right. So I just pick the fill space and drag it over here and it will make a whole new space between the first step from the palette and the last like space. So I can also add a shorter like space and here. So it will create a space in here. So yeah, I can just play around with these. And now we're gonna add some like cool icons. You really need to have to actually yeah, have like fast access to go on some of those points. So you might have no snap settings. So now it's actually called quantizing. So I have quantizing. I just type it in here, quantizing. So first of all, some nice things you know we, you need. So first of all, enable quantizing. So if you drag this in here, this is just an icon to enable or disable the quantizing for your actually quantizing things. So you have also three other like quantizing things. So it's actually the snap thing. So you can snap like the move and rotation and the scale. So in here, there's also like a little ugly space because no, no, it's just like the two icons connect with each other and it will, it wouldn't create like a normal icon. So you have like the icon spectator. So it will create a little area between those. Yeah. Between those two icons and yeah, it will just look much cleaner. So we're just going to create a little icon spectator between all of those. So yeah, that's much better for me. So now with the quantizing, you enable quantizing and you can at like a move step. So if you have an object or like a model or whatever you have, so you at like a move step, it's like maybe six and it will move six steps every time and you can just yeah pick everything you want so yeah you can just play around with these and that's actually it so maybe some other really handy thing you will kind of need so if you're like more like me so um it's reset psr so let's just search it in here in the name filter resets it's in here, reset PSR and you just drag it over here and maybe adds a little space. And what that will do is just, if you have an object and you move it around, but you want it to go back to his original position where it used to be if you just placed it in here. So if you click on reset PSR, it will just go to his actually original position and also the rotation and so such thing so reset psr okay and then there's also a little handy thing for the psr if you want to move the actually the position for um like the home position for an object like yeah just it's it's called um freeze the um, freeze transformation. 
So also that's a little space. So what freeze transformation is, if you move an object, but you want to be this, the original posi position of the object and not like the center of Cinema 4D. So you can just freeze, freeze the transition. And if you now move the object and you click, and you click a um, reset PSR, it will go to that position. So that's also a really handy thing. So yeah, this is like kind of basic stuff you really need to know. So yeah, you have this on your layout now. So now if you might of know, um, if you change your layout now, it will remove all the palettes, everything you did. So we want to save our layout. So we want to go to windows, customize, customization. And then in here, there is like save layout as, or you can also save it as your startup layout. So what that will do is will, if you open Cinema 4D, it will open that layout. So yeah, it's actually what it says. So then there's also like a save layout as if you want to add another layout in those ones. So, so you can change between those layouts. So I just gonna save a startup layout. And um, now if I click on here, it will open. Every time I open Cinema 3 it will open this layout. But uh, there are also some other things you could use. So yeah, you can add, add other like icons or to whatever. Yeah, you can just add everything you want. Okay, so just play around with these, um, search for some cool stuff, and yeah. Then now for if you want to change the color of your layout, so if you're kind of bored of the basic layout and the colors, you can change those, and you can also change the fonts for your text. So that's what we're gonna do. First of all, we're gonna go to edit preferences, click on here and it will open the preferences menu. So in here you can just kind of change everything from cinema for d So, but, um, I warn you, um, if you change those, um, if you close cinema for d it will always stay like that, but there's a, a way to fix that. And I will show you that later. So, First of all, you can change the sh scheme. So if you want like a lighter color, yeah, you can, you can do whatever you want. You can change your language. Like you can choose from those languages and yeah, it's just, you can change your fonts in here, do whatever you want. So, but now I'm going to go more in depth, like in the color. So if you seen under here, the on the bottom, there's a scheme color. So you just click it, so you open it on the little triangle. So if you want to change the background or something, we're gonna go to interface color and the general background. So it's actually the background from Cinema 4D. So if you want to go change it like this, you'll see it actually changes. And you can do whatever you want. So let's just kind of change back. So there's also editor colors. Like you can change actually everything in here. So I just change this in under here. So that's actually the background thing, but not the background from this. But you will see if you if you play around with these. But maybe some also like cool things like. I can find it so hmm. I think it was in here so you can just read the text in here and you will see yeah you can just change whatever you want actually just read change color and it will change color so this is actually the text from if you select something now it's like a more um like actually yeah like green slime color and you can change everything like really everything so that the colors let like just go more in here and just find whatever you want 
can change it so mm, maybe smaller things that I can change uh, like the former color or something the most of those are purple right now but, uh, I think yeah now it's green like the left formers so yeah it's all up to you actually so you can change everything each color also the back from this color just play around okay <laughs> can do whatever we, we, what you want with those but um, if you um, kind of fucked up your color like if you did some random thing like I mostly do so I just change this this and it doesn't give like a clean look I just changed everything but I kind of wanted to go back to the original color so that's also an option okay so um, want to change it to the original you just open preferences folder click on here and it will open actually your folder for cinema for the better you can change this to a normal pictogram so so if you want to remove your your colors and you want it to go back to normal you want to reset actually every color and everything in the preferences so you just go actually to preferences folder and you actually delete it it's as simple as that and then if you restart cinema 4d um you can i don't want to save it so yeah so yeah this is maybe if you seen there there was my custom startup thing so yeah it's back to normal again so i've seen everything used to be green like the textures and now it's normal you just delete your preferences folder and it's back to normal if you fucked up your your layout so yeah if you want to go more clean you just change it like here yeah <laughs> I guess that's it so that's how you change your layouts yeah <laughs> so I guess that's it bye guys and um if you get some ideas for next tutorials or something just leave it down below and um, it will really, really help me out and i actually help you out so yeah that's it see you later